going forward hit subscribe button and press bell icon for notification of every upcoming video. of in popular culture at the time. One of his most lauded achievements was to be recognised as a star in the West, something which wouldn't be possible without a growth mindset. How water flows. So here we go back to the idea of what it means to be like water. As Bruce Lee says, when you pour water into a cup, it becomes the cup. When you pour water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. When you pour water in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. You see, water flows and adapts to all situations. Its fluidity is what allows for this. With the world changing being a constant, the world today forces us as individuals to adapt faster than ever before, as the pace of life today and everything that comes with it being much faster. For example, I've recently had some changes in my workplace that have needed me to adapt to new working practices. At the same time, with the global pandemic equally shifting how we work and operate, the changes I've had to adapt to have been compounded. In this situation, I've seen many struggle with all the changes occurring and it's seriously impacted their mental health, whereas I've generally performed well despite facing the same situation. Whereas my motivation has been led by my willingness to adapt and adjust to the needs of the changing environment around me, others haven't been able to let go of how things were previously. I maintain a growth mindset, focusing to improve where I need to improve, corroborate the strengths that people believe I have, and most of all, adapt to be capable of doing what's necessary. Bruce Lee also applied such a growth mindset in his own life. The concept.
As a human being, how can I express myself totally and completely? All type of knowledge ultimately means self-knowledge. Listen, you see, really, that there is such thing as like Chinese way of fighting or the, or the Japanese way of fighting or whatever way of fighting because unless human being have three arms and four legs we will have a different form of fighting but basically we have only two hands and two feet so styles tends to uh, 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 not only separate man you know because they have their own doctrines and then the doctrine I came the cosmic tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you... dedicated and intensified man called Bruce Lee and my martial art is something that no serious martial artist can ignore. It might sound too philosophical but it's an acting acting or acting unacting. Actually you see I mean it's a combination of both. I mean here it is the natural instinct and here is control. You are to combine the two in harmony not if you have one to the extreme, you will be very unscientific. If you have another to the extreme, you become all of a sudden a mechanical man, no longer a human being. So you, it is a successful combination of both. So therefore, it's not pure natural or unnaturalness. The ideal is unnatural naturalness or natural unnaturalness. You do not have style. You just say, well, here, here I am, you know, as, as, as a human being. How can I express myself totally and completely? Now, that way, you won't create a style because style is a crystallization, you know. I mean, that way, it's a process of continuing growth.
Otherwise, it's very slow. Oh, is it? And you push it out, but all the time you are keeping the continuity going, bending, stretching, everything. You know, suppose you know. I mean, you just keep it moving. That's like a ballet dancer there. Yeah, it is. I mean, to to them, you see, the idea is running water never grows stale. So you gotta just keep on flowing. To me, okay, to me. Ultimately, martial art means honestly expressing yourself. You know, it is very difficult to do. I mean, it is, it is easy for me to put on a show and be cocky yeah. and be flooded with a cocky feeling, and then feel like pretty cool or not. Or oh, I can look all kinds of phony things. You see what I mean? Blinded by it, or I can show you some really fancy movement. To express oneself honestly, not lying to oneself, and to express myself honestly—that, my friend, is very hard to do. And you have to train. You have to keep your reflexes so that when you want it, it's there. When you want to move, you're moving, and when you move, you are determined to move. Not taking one inch, not anything less than that. If I want to punch. I'm gonna do it, man, and I'm gonna do it. So I mean, so that is the type of thing you have to train yourself into it to become one with the. You think? It was very unlucky. Your mind, be formless, shapeless, like water. Now you put water into a cup, it becomes the cup. You put water into a bottle, it becomes the bottle. You put it in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Now water can flow. Or it can crash in water, my friend.